lesbian spoken word, seven inch from the oh, 70s. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're not, you know, like some EDM festival, like bro, bro down kind of thing. But nonetheless, like sometimes it's satisfying. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it when like electronic musicians like pretend that their gear is like a basket of snakes and they're like afraid, Ooh. you know, or something or like it's Ooh. hot and they're afraid to touch it. Like, I think that's pretty played out. But nonetheless, it would be pretty fun, you like, know, to you be sort of. never do that. Pe you well, never do that. I try not to. I really liked what we had going though, that sort of like 1981 Germany kind of vibe with the um, with this and that previous group. Pyramid. I thought that worked really well actually, and it is it's so satisfying. I mean, in a way, with an effect like you want to start with a really simple sound that's in dialogue with the effect in a compelling way. I think maybe Martin, you're better at throwing throwing something simple at it and kind of playing. Well, I don't like, know. I think you're kind of playing funky mixes with full on with shit. super pyramid. And <laughs> <laughs> I like the depth of it when it's when it's going full on. I like the rhythmic responsiveness of it. I mean, after the delay pedal, the first pedal I bought from a pawn shop when I was a kid was a, a, a shitty, shitty flanger. And I do love that kind of um, tangy metallic Flanging. edge. Yeah, the just tangy metallic edge that it puts onto signal. You can hear it in a lot of early like White House records on the vocals. It seems like it has huge depth. Like you could fuck with it and fuck with it and fuck with it. Which is of course what you want. <laughs> I can't resist turning that feedback knob up, but it's so it's so wrong, but it's so right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it feels solid. It's fun to use. There's something intuitive about immediately using like the feedback and, and the width and the rate and exploring that. You know, those are the basic parameters of it. But it seems like, yeah, it's quite devious in that there's a, there's a substantial amount more that you can do. Being able to write presets is handy too. You know, because if you're like, oh, we've got a set list and like now we go to this song, then just wham and you're ready. You know, rather than like if I'm sitting on a screen, like I could make a huge adjustment, but there's no sense of a gestural connection to the audience about a gesture creating a sound. I think with electronic music, that contract's broken, so it's good when pedals give you a rewarding, like slamming it into the top of feedback genuinely alters, you know, the color. You like that. You I like did. Doing that. I did like doing that. Just slamming it. <laughs>